Welcome to the Lake Life. I'm your host, Chris Giddens, and I'm standing here next to the lovely and talented Miss Lyndon Blake. For you. Lyndon, where are we at today? We're at Floyd's Feed and Seed here in Dayville, Alabama, right here on the corner across from Piggly Wiggly. Super excited to be here. Why don't we go and get in? Yeah, let's get back. <laughs> hey, I'm Lyndon Blake here with Miss Faye Floyd, the owner of Floyd's Feed and Seed here in the new Carhartt department of the store. Tell us a little bit about this department. Well, we uh, we started out just kind of like everything else we do. Uh, we just put it in as a trial basis, and it grew so fast we we had to find a place to put it all. So we built a new room for it. So this is called our new Carhartt room, and uh, we've got a good selection of even kids' clothes here, but mostly we sell a lot of uh, the men's work clothes in the Carhartt and T-shirts and everything. But it has really taken on. Uh, there's not a lot of places to buy clothes in Davil, uh, the good quality work clothes, so uh, we, uh, we put it in here. What other brands do you sell just besides the Carhartt, of course? Um, are there any others? Uh, we sell Liberty because uh, we have a lot of old timers that like to come in here, and they use the Liberty overall, so we keep that in stock. We sell uh, 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 some Wranglers for our um, cowboys. Uh, and people that uh, have always worn Wrangler jeans, they're the pro rodeo uh, professional type Wranglers, not the kind that you, you know, they're the kind that you have to get in a Western store. And I also see you sell a variety of little knick-knack things like suspenders and stuff. Do a lot right. of old-timers come in here for those? Oh, yeah. And uh, and the younger the younger generation. You'd be surprised what the younger ones like to buy. And the younger teenagers really are the ones that got this car heart really going for us. They do the same thing with our boots and everything else. If a teenager gets it and wears it to school and he happens to be a little popular, we're, we're going to sell it to the teenagers as well. Well, that's exciting. Uh, hey, Chris Giddens here with the Lake Live. I'm standing here now with Jason from Floyd's Feed and Seed. Jason, how you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How are you? Uh, if I was any better, that made me pee in a cup, man. <laughs> Listen, walking around, man, I had no idea how much stuff you guys had here. I mean, just a tremendous selection of things. I know Lyndon's talked about it already. I mean, what? just give us an idea of what all kind of stuff are y'all selling here. Man, we got all kinds. We got boots, tack, gloves, garden care, fertilizers. Man, we got it. We got bird feeders to fish feeders to deer feeders. I'm talking about saddles, stirrups. Y'all got the metal things going on the back of boots, what them call? Uh, yeah, spurs, man. Hey, we also, we got the saddle bags over here. I mean, I'm talking about everything you guys want. I've seen wall ornaments with Alabama stuff. Um, I've seen hats and shirts. You got the car hearts. You got the Wranglers. Y'all got all this crazy stuff in here, man. And it, it's just been absolutely ridiculous just walking around in here and checking out all the stuff. Y'all got a back storeroom back here yep. with all kind of... Here's the thing. The sign says feed outside, so what do y'all got to eat? Unless you like dog food. I don't really care if a dog. I weigh 300 pounds, man, and I won't eat no dog food, man. You can't have a sign up there with nothing to eat in here. Well, we got animal feed. We ain't saying nothing about human. Man, see, I don't. All right. So there's no human feed, but anything else you need, you can come right here to Floyd's Feed and Seed. Now, y'all are real hard to find in Davil, too, ain't you? Very hard. Very, right here in the center of town. I mean, right here, smack dab in the middle, right next to the courthouse. Y'all got to come out here to Floyd's Feed and Seed. It don't matter if it's lawn work, if you've got a rodeo thing coming up. Maybe you just need some good work pants or work boots. Maybe you like me, you like to fake as far as gloves and ropes, all these different things. In addition to the plants, all that stuff. Lennon, then we're talking about. Um, I, like you were talking about boots. What kind of boots do y'all carry? We got Rocky, we got Georgia, Wolverine, Dan Post, John Deere. We got it. I mean, y'all got all the boots, all right? The boots. So, now let me ask you this. Why else would I come to Floyd's Feed and Seed? I'm, I'm easy down here. Let's say I need some boots. Maybe I need a cowboy hat, too, right? I'm, I got some roping and riding. Uh, what If I've got a, let's say, a rodeo kind of thing coming up, right? Well, what all do I need that you guys are carrying right here? Uh, rodeo, we got the cowboy hats. We got the uh, bandanas. We've got the boots. We got the spurs. We got the tips to go on the boots. All right, now look, all right, you got everything you need. Got it. Right, all right, you got everything. Now let's say, all right, my my yard's looking kind of tough. I got weeds everywhere. I'm thinking about maybe starting a little tomato growing uh, outfit out behind the radio station. Right, I'm doing that by myself. No, I'm playing. Brad, <laughs> Brad, a cameraman, he does it. Right, all right. All right. What do you got in here that's going to help him get that or get the yard looking right at my house? What do y'all got for that? We got fertilizer. We got grass seeds. We got tomato plants. We got the potting soil. We got 
the hose and rakes, everything to break it up with. Weed it out, landscape fabric. Y'all have even got some kindling for, for starting fires. I noticed it because uh, there are all these maroon hats and Crimson Tide stuff laying around here. So, I mean, that's just like kindling for fire, right? That's right. Yeah, perfect. Um, I'm a big Auburn fan, you know, so that's, that's all that's good for. But y'all have got a lot of Auburn stuff, too. That's right. and, and that's like gold where I'm from. Ah. I think y'all got a, is, is all of it on clearance right now, all the Alabama stuff? No, only the Auburn. Oh, the Auburn. Oh, because it's just flying off the shelves, right? <laughs> Jason, thank you so much for coming up here, talking to me for a minute, man. Been an absolute blast coming around here to Floyd's Feeding Seat. No problem. Glad to have y'all, man. Lyndon Blake here once again with Miss Faye Floyd of Floyd's Feeding Seat here in the garden department of the store. Miss Faye, what type of variety do you sell out here? We sell just about anything you want. We've got perennials, we've got shrubs, we've got little trees, we've got fruit trees, uh, annuals, um, anything that you want. If I don't have it and there, if there's any way at all possible I can get it, I'll get it for you. So you even sell like vegetables if I wanted to plant sweet potatoes in my garden. You sell those. We sell all kinds of vegetables, everything that grows well around here. Um, even a, we, this year we've got asparagus that usually we've never had before, but we've got it this year. Well, what types of flowers and vegetables or trees grow best around the Lake Martin area? Uh, we sell a lot of Laura Pedulum, which is a shrub that blooms early. We sell a lot of uh, azaleas. Everybody loves the different colors of azaleas. Um, the different perennials, we, we do well with those. Uh, as well as like petunias and uh, little accent plants and bushes. We, we just do a lot. So of we sell shrub uh, and we sell things for um, the shade, things for the sun, whatever you need. You, you know need what you need as far as you need it in the sun, you need it in the shade, or if you need it running or sitting still, we've got it. Okay, well, I've never planted a garden of my own, but if I you know, wanted to start one, just say, in my yard in town, away from the lake and everything, what type of plants would you suggest I use for getting started? Well, if you had, if you, if you got full sun, the best, the easiest things to grow will be like zinnias, um, uh, the little, and in a flower seed, the easiest plants to grow are going to be petunias, uh, the, the, or the little flowers that are already blooming. You just um, work it, work your soil up, put it in there, put a little fertilizer in there, and keep the weeds out, and you'll have some pretty flowers. Well, thank you. I'll take that in consideration this springtime when I okay. work out in the yard. Um, well, everybody, once again, this is Miss Faye Floyd out here from the Garden Center here at Floyd's Feed and Sea. There's tons of beautiful plants around and vegetables, anything you want, like she said, she has it. Would you mind telling us just how you got started in the feed and seed business? Well, we were looking for something to do. We moved back down here from Indiana when I was 30. Now, I was born in this area, and uh, my grandfather died. My mother moved down, so we moved down, and we were um, looking for something to make a living at. And uh, we uh, found this little building, and um, uh, it was pretty empty, so uh, we started this business with $1,000, and, um, and we have gone from there. I had originally planned to uh, start the business, turn it over to my husband, because I was in college and I was going to teach. And uh, by the time, uh, well, he had a bad accident, and then by the time I got uh, out of school, I was making more money here than I would be teaching. So I took, I just kept, kept the business for myself. And uh, we have just been blessed with uh, great customers and uh, people that uh, come. Uh, to visit the lake. They like coming in here and we like taking care of their needs. That's how we got started and that's what we do every day. Awesome. What's an overview of the products you provide and services for your customers? Well, um, we've got feed, we've got farm supplies, we've got garden supplies, we've got uh, boots, work boots, uh, and uh, play boots. Uh, we've got all kinds of uh, clothing for children, all the way up to uh, o the older guys that like the overalls. Um, we've got jewelry. Uh, we've got just about anything that you need in a, in a country environment, a country surrounding. We've got insecticides, uh, fungicides. We can get rid of snakes. You name it, we can take care of you. Well, I bet that comes in real handy around 
the lake area with all the snakes and insects. What are your hours of operation? We're open every day from 7.45 to 5 o'clock, except Saturdays. And we open at 7.45 on Saturdays, and we, we start closing the doors at 3.45. Well, thank you again for taking time out of your very busy day to chit chat with us a little bit about what you do. I'm Chris Giddens. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Lake Life. Stay tuned for more updates. Until then, we'll see you on the lake.